His Excellency the President has nominated one Major General Philip Washira Kameru to be the Director General of the National Intelligence Service. Spy agency NIS is said to have a new boss from the military intelligence with the president's nomination that now leaves his fate in the hands of parliament. The Parliamentary Defense and Foreign Relations Committee chaired by Tetu MP Ndongo Gedenji will in the next 14 days invite and vet Major General Kameru to determine his suitability to sit at the helm of the intelligence service. That is a sensitive uh, national security docket. Uh, and of course, we would need to have somebody uh, nominated and appointed in the shortest time possible. Major General Kameru currently serves as the country's director of military intelligence, a fact that is understood to have left a sour taste in the mouths of officers within the intelligence service who were eyeing the position. Sources in the spy agency say questions abound as to why the job could not have been given to an insider as its immediate former boss, retired Major General Michael Gishangi, had eight deputies heading various departments. Major General Kameru is said to be the mastermind behind the success of KDF in Somalia. He has served in the military for 36 years and has been decorated with 11 medals. He is an alumni of the National Defense College in USA where he graduated with a Master of Science in National Resource Strategy. He also holds two other master degrees in International Studies and Security Management from the University of Nairobi and Leicester University in the UK. President Kenyatta said he is rated as an exemplary professional and that, quote, our intelligence service must now meet both new and old challenges. Major General Kameru has gathered extensive experience in operational and administrative matters, end quote. General Kameru is a career officer uh, from cadet and has been well trained uh, from the signal sector, so he understands IT very well and is also highly military intelligent trained. However, the law holds that should 60 days from the date of nomination lapse before Parliament either approves or rejects the nomination, the candidate shall be deemed approved. Should he be approved, he takes up the crucial role of heading a spy agency whose performance has come under sharp scrutiny in the wake of insecurity in parts of the country, including the increased terror attacks that have in the past year only claimed over 200 lives. The Defense and Foreign Relations Committee will also vet the 24 nominees to be appointed or reappointed as ambassadors and high commissioners to missions abroad. Jackie Maribe, Citizen Live at 9.